obviously, before we got just a couple of minutes, any questions from the audience on this conversation? I just have one from, you know, when you shared some of this stuff with me, uh, Ray, you talked about something that I'm particularly intrigued by, brand health and the brand health studies that you referenced. What are some of the components that go in that? Because I, I would imagine in a C-suite, that's a really strong way of thinking instead of a brand audit, which sounds too technical. Brand health sounds very, very progressive. Like, what are some of those components? That's a great question, actually, because it's... Um it does require, even for clients that are familiar with um, brand health studies, it does require a slight kind of recalibration of how you think about that. So most brand health studies are, uh, you know, have screening criteria, um, but basically it's a questionnaire that's served to consumer audiences that are relevant to, uh, to a client or to us. Um, and you know, those screening criteria are based on demographics, category engagement, these uh, campaign impact studies are very similar, but you can think of them as just having an additional screening requirement, which is, in addition to those things, they need to have been exposed to some element of the campaign. Oh, excellent. Any questions? I know we're, we're trying to cut on time and stay on time. Any other questions? Please join me in saying thank you to our speakers. Thank you thank very you. much. And, and